Hello everyone, welcome back to Simplion's YouTube channel. In today's video, we will dive into something incredibly useful, Gantt charts for project management. We will start by understanding what Gantt charts are with a relatable example. Explore their benefits and then create a Gantt chart from scratch to manage our projects effectively. Sound exciting, right? Let's not waste any time and get started. Imagine having a crystal clear roadmap for your project where every task, deadline and dependency is perfectly laid out. Sounds relaxing, right? This is exactly what a Gantt chart offers. A Gantt chart is a project management tool that visually represents a project schedule using horizontal bars to show tasks, their duration, dependencies and progress over on a timeline. It helps team track milestone, deadlines and overall progress while managing resources and ensuring tasks are completed in the correct sequence. For example, you are leading a project to launch a mobile app for an e-commerce brand before the holiday season. You need to manage tasks like designing the app, developing features, testing and deploying it all on a tight timeline. A Gantt chart helps by showing each task their deadlines and how they connect like finishing design before development begins. It keeps your team on track, avoid delays and ensure the app is ready for the busiest shopping season. So as now we have a basic understanding of Gantt charts, let's see how to make it from scratch in Excel. Before we move on, if you are looking to take your career to the next level, the Simplion's PMP certification training is your key to mastering project management as a globally recognized PMI partner. Our course prepares you to ace the PMP exam on your first time with 35 PDUs, live interactive classes, 2000 plus practice question and real world simulation. Gain expertise in core project management concept, exploring cutting edge tools like generative AI and unlock lucrative roles in top industries. So don't forget to check out the coursing from the description box below and the pin comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So welcome to this demo part of this video. So this is text uh, I have added. So this is a random text. It's not any data and all. So I have just put it random tasks. Okay, planning stage, execution stage, just the name of project leaders and the start date, end date and what are the days. So if you will check here, so this is nothing but D9 minus 6, nine means end date minus start date. Okay, for task one, how many days is needed, you can say or in progress. Okay, this is the planning stage and progress is 90%. This is also random. Okay, nothing else. Okay, so while just putting date and uh, all the things, just uh, see this. It should be date. Okay, long date. It means January it will write or 01 it will write. Okay, and for the progress one, it should be percentage. Okay, otherwise it will show you the error. So days are random. Yeah, now it's visible, I guess. Okay, so here you can see. Uh, so this is all the part of text formatting. Okay, so the colors and the styles and these are the execution stage and the review stage. So project name, I just uh, put it here, project management XYZ company. Okay, and the project started, I put it 1st January because here I have wrote 1st January 2025. And the current date is you can just type equals to today uh, these brackets and the current date will come. So today is 10th of January. And the week in progress, week two. So how I've write it, week two. First, I have rounded round up B3 minus B2 means current date minus project start date. Then I had converted into the week format. Okay, it will give me days when I will uh, just subtract it. Okay, from B3 minus B2. Divided by seven means it will give me the week. So how I have added this WK, WK means week. So just select the cell and press Ctrl 1. Then you will see this. So I have write it here WK and this hashtag. Okay. Then hashtag will take this too. So here if I will write let's say PP. So it will show me PP2. See here PP2 it will convert. Okay. So I want week here. So I will write WK. Or you can write like your choice. Okay. If you are taking days or uh, whatever so i have to week in progress so 
that's why i have chose wk so moving forward uh, let's set the timeline like first week second week so here i will write one okay then here i will write equals to this plus one it will show me two then again same process i will select this control one it will show me like this and i will go to custom and i will go to here this this thing it will show me week one week two then i will go till okay week 59 yeah, what do you can do equals to you can put and you can select this okay just enter it so first gen will come okay so here you will do equals to this you will select h6 then plus 7 it's the same method but what will happen i will show you but what will happen okay so if you will change this to let's suppose 21 okay so automatically every date will change so now let's do the chart filling process let's go ahead and work here essentially highlight the areas that are in between these two dates okay these two date okay so they should be dynamic and uh, that's where something like conditional formatting can come handily so we will first select the whole area like this okay okay till yeah till june we can select and rows yeah correct and just go to conditional formatting and here you can select the new rule here use a formula to determine which cells to format and here you will write uh, the you know formula yeah so just select this area and here i will write equals to and okay then bracket then I will select this, okay, starting. Then it should be greater equals to this start date. Got it, comma. Then again, I will start this, select this, and I will write it's less than equals to the end date, okay. So now I will remove this dollar. Why? Because, because I want to go through all these end dates. Because I am setting for all the uh, you know task, not just for the first task. So same here, I will remove this because H1 is this. So I want to go all to the right ways. Okay, then again here for the start date, same thing. Okay, then for the start, same thing. Cool. Then I will bracket here. Then I will go to format. You can select the color of your choice okay then you will press ok then yes okay so here what you will see from 1st to 28th of feb so first first from first january it's going till 28th okay here somewhere here so it's uh, like this okay why it is blank because this is the uh, execution state so there is no value here cool so yeah so what i will do i will go again here i will just select i will edit the rule manage rules yeah so now color is changed so here you can see the progress so what i want if uh, here is 90 percent progress so it will show you so the dark green color okay first but first we have to set the progress bar it should so okay i will select this i will go to conditional formatting data bars let's select uh, this color so now what i want according to this progress so let's suppose it is just 30 percent not 300 it is just 30 percent okay so what i want the 30 percent should be in dark green rest should be in light green okay so for this it's a little bit uh, complex formula so just uh, 
look at carefully so here i will write and first i will select h6 okay then i want it to go like this so i will add here okay dollar okay so it should be greater than and equals to the starting date okay again i will add dollar here okay comma then again i will select this h6 then here i will write again dollar sign equals to same formula like that i will select the starting date okay then here i will add dollar then i will add here plus I will start with one bracket then I will write okay then I will write multiplication then I will select this then here I will add dollar and here I will add dollar enter so it's true means this part is you know uh, our progress is fine so I will drag it to the last so now you will see true and false okay see true 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 because 30 percent only done false 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 what if i will change it to 70 percent it will change automatically true 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 false 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 so first what i will do i will give the color here whatever the color is to differentiate because i can't see properly yeah it's fine so here i will select this and i will because i need i don't need uh, this true and false i need uh, the color value okay so for that same we'll go to conditional formatting then same new rule then okay before that before that okay first i will show you something okay what if i will select here zero okay so everything is showing false but it, here it is showing true but i don't want i want it show false here okay so here go to formula bar just type minus one okay okay my bad just type minus one Okay, press enter it will show you false now in zero percent because zero is zero it's not started yet right in 40 percent now it will show you like this okay now select this all because i don't want any true values i want the color okay go to conditional formatting then go to new rule okay then use a formula okay here just copy paste that right format and i need the dark color okay yeah so now what you can do you can do this okay <clears throat> now see if you will just i deleted this those uh, true false values so now if i will write here 25 percent it will come automatically like this okay so this part is done this part is not done okay you can create a legend here and you can write dark green equals to done okay just for the reference light green pending okay this is how you can create okay you can give the same color like this later on right so yeah so this part is done so here if you will change to here just go here just type 100 percent it will show you 100 percent okay for that part so now it's not looking good so we can what we can do we can select all this okay we can select all this and we can go to insert basically i want to give some borders and all yeah all borders so now it's looking much better right 
here I will remove the borders for these two. Cool, now it's looking good. So now what I want is that if I'm in week two, so it should show you are in week two with some boxes or some, there should be something. So again, I will select this, all my chart, okay. Then same process, go to conditional formatting, go to new rule, then select user formula to determine. Here, I will write manually, okay, H dollar seven, this week one equals to this, okay, dollar B, dollar four, right? And I will go to format, then I will go to border, fill option, border option is there, so I will take some border, okay, I want full one box, so yeah. color it should be red okay this side color should be red i want full basically outline okay then i will press okay okay it selected two because week two week two why it is coming like this h7 plus seven okay why it's duplicated <clears throat> yeah let me fix this yeah okay now it's fine maybe by mistake so see we are in week two so it's showing week two selecting week two okay so now if i will write here Basically, I want to change the date. Okay, here we can write the date. Here we will write, let's suppose 25012025. Okay, it will automatically week 4 will come here and it will show select the week 4. Okay, so this is how you can do 50%. It will come to 50%. Okay, so this is how you can create Gantt chart for any project, okay, for X, Y, Z company or for your test or for your reference, for your progress, okay, and if you want this sheet, I can put it in uh, description box, just let us know in the comment section below, okay. So with this, we have come to end of this video, if you have any question or doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section below, our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.